Greetings aspirants. Welcome to Shankar IAS Academy YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about a common query among many aspirants. That is whether they can crack civil service examination despite being weak in their general studies part. See, many aspirants have this question in their mind. So in this short video, I have decided to address this query. That is whether they can crack civil service examination despite being weak in their general studies part. Now let's get into the video. See, only an all-round performance will help you in clearing all the three stages of the examination. Though they are toppers who have benefited from high optional scores in the mains exam and high interview scores, they are minuscule minority. General studies requires different level of understanding at different stages of the examination. For example, in the preliminary stage, a clear-cut conceptual understanding is required for general studies. And in the main stage, understanding the question properly and writing the answer pertinent to that question is extremely important. You cannot dump every fact you know about the question. See, if you plan your preparation, you can never be weak in your general studies. After all, these are the subjects we have been learning right from our school days, right? So don't consider general studies as your weakness. If you consider general studies as your weakness, better turn it into your strength. Now how to do that? I will tell you a short story. See, a 10 year old boy from Japan decided to learn judo from an old Japanese master. And the fact to be noted here is that he lost his left arm in a devastating car accident. The boy kept on training for three months. The master just taught him only one move. After three months of training, the boy went to the master and asked him why he has been practicing only one move. But the master asked him to practice that particular move. The boy did not understand anything but he trusted his master. He again practiced rigorously for several months. Finally, a tournament came. The boy went to the tournament. Surprisingly, he won his first two matches very easily. In the third match, it was quite difficult, but still he managed to win the match. Somehow, the boy went to the finals now. Now the opponent is bigger, stronger and even more experienced. Now everyone in the tournament felt that the boy appeared to be overmatched. Even the referee interfered and decided to cancel the match because he felt that the boy might get hurt. But the master wanted the match to be continued. The match started and after some time the boy smartly used his one move to win that particular match also. Now the boy won the tournament. Everyone including the boy was surprised. And then now he asked his master how it is possible. Then the master said that the boy has mastered one of the most difficult move in all of judo. And the only difference for that particular move is to hold his left arm. We know that the boy does not have his left arm. So it is nearly impossible to defeat him. Now what we can understand from this story? See, now the boy's weakness turned into his biggest strength. But that happened with consistent practice. Somehow we feel that we have certain weaknesses and we blame ourselves and others for it. But we fail to realize the fact that our weaknesses can become our strength one day. For that to happen, you have to practice and you have to practice consistently. Now how to do that? First of all, don't consider general studies as your weakness. As I already said, these are the subject we have been learning right from our school days. If you consider general studies as your weakness, better turn it into your strength. First develop some interest towards that subject. Then you go for basic books, like you can start with NCRTs. You have to practice every day, learn every day and solve the test series. Solve the test series for both preliminary and mains examination. 
See, in our daily news analysis video, we are also providing a preliminary and mains question every day. You can make use of that. And if you follow this for a period of time, it will become your habit. If you follow this consistently, your general studies will become your strength. So to conclude, you cannot rely entirely on your optional scores or interview marks. General studies is extremely important. Please develop some interest towards that subject and practice it every day. Don't consider general studies as your weaknesses. If you feel so, better turn it into your strength. Hope I have addressed the query. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in my next video.